Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to our channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. You already know, you should be a witness to over 100 videos I made now on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from you guys, I mean subscribers and some people not even subscribers while i still make the video for them as well i don't know how they can keep track what i post if i posted their request or no but actually they do i don't know how they do i don't <laughs> i have no idea so here i am again with the same question that keeps repeating again each day each day each day which is how to remove the shipping calculated at the checkout on your shopify store so I had I had this question like every three days for for a year now and the process to doing so it's very simple very simple but I got tired of if each time repeating the same steps go there do this do this to each person like every three days four days I get this question and I reply the same answer again I got tired so instead here I am I'm gonna make the video so anyone who has the same question again in the future I will make a video for him. And this happens actually for a lot of my videos. A lot of requests keep repeating, but this one is high level. This one keeps repeating every three, four days. And it's very simple. That's why I, I did hesitate to make the video on it. I like to make things that's valuable, things that you're not heard elsewhere, or things that's more complicated. I like challenges, but for this one, it's very simple. And without any more talking, Let's just get to it. So as you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. I have here down team as the used one and the most actually most requested one, which is the one I'm going to do demonstration on. And I do demonstration in each video on down team. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free teams as well, which is stay sense, refresh, spotlight and trade. And if you are wondering why is that? Because I do actually try this trick on each one of these behind the scenes. As I said in the video, I do it on my, on my down team, sorry. I mean on the demonstration, but behind the scenes, so I don't bore people out. I do actually try it on each one of these. And it does work for each one of these. I just have to give you this peace of mind from the beginning so you would know that I'm doing it on down team doesn't mean it does work for others. Even if it didn't, just so drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. And with that out of the way, Let's just get to it and show you how to remove this one right here. Let me show you. By the way, this is the Shopify store where I do all demonstrations. And everything you see in the Shopify, uh, in the Shopify store, sorry, I did it in demonstrations. Including the search bar, uh, moving an announcement bar with a link. If I click on it, it's going to direct me where I'm going to be <laughs> showing demonstration here. Let's just click on it. Boom, to the future product. Let's just click on this one. So as you can see, it says shipping calculated at the checkout. How can you remove this one? It's the most easiest thing you can do. Let's just keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it. So uh, get back to Shopify dashboard, then click on three dots or left of customize and click on edit default team content, the last option in here. And it will take you to this page where you can edit any word on your team and simply use the search bar right here and type in calculated just like this, hit enter, and it will show you a bunch of words that has calculated in here. And some of them has exactly the words that you're trying to remove, but it's not it. To remove the thing you're trying to remove from the product page is the last one, where it says products. As you can see, this is the one that you need to remove. So simply remove it. I'm gonna copy it because I'm gonna, I am might want to get back to previous version. So simply remove this thing in here. After that, click on the save button, then it will say, oh, you have something incomplete, one field missing. That's fine. If you want to remove it, that's fine. No worries. We will get back to product page now. Let's just reload the page and it's gone. Can you see it anymore? Not anymore. That was simple, right? So instead of replying to each one, here is the video for you. So stop commenting. I'm just joking. If you have any video requests, make sure to drop them below. I would be happy to make a video same as this one. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.